fancy yourself an iPod, Apple's 7th generation iPod Touch has finally arrived in Malaysia. And it seems like the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Note 10 will support a faster wireless charging technology. Keep watching to find out more. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 will be officially launched on the 7th of August 2019. Besides having a better camera, it seems like the upcoming device will also be getting an upgrade when it comes to its charging technology. According to Lickster Roland Kwan, it seems like Samsung has a new wireless charging accessory that pushes a 20 watt output. At the moment, Samsung's current fast wireless charging 2.0 only supports a maximum output of 12 watts. And rumour has it that Samsung will also be upgrading their wired charging technology to 45 watt. Honor will be launching their Honor 9X on the 23rd of July 2019 in Xi'an. Honor has revealed that the upcoming device will be powered by their latest Kirin 810, which is the same processor as the Huawei Nova 5. And for those of you who didn't know, the Kirin 810 processor is shown to have outperformed the Snapdragon 730 on Geekbench as well as Antutu. According to Honor's president, the upcoming device will also come with a bunch of surprises. And from what we have known so far, the upcoming device might feature a pop-up selfie camera. You can now purchase the 7th generation iPod Touch here in Malaysia. This device is powered by a newer Apple A10 Fusion chip. And if you need more storage, the new iPod Touch also comes with up to 256 gigs of internal storage. The base model with 32 gigs of storage will be priced at 899 ringgit, while the 128 gig version will be priced at 1349 ringgit. The highest spec option with 256 gigs of storage will be priced at 1799 ringgit. The iPod Touch will be available in pink, gold, blue, silver, space grey, as well as red. If you're interested, you can purchase it from Machine's website or you can go to Apple's online store. If you are looking for an affordable tablet, Samsung has recently launched their Galaxy Tab A 8.0. This device is officially priced at 599 ringgit, and you can purchase it from their online store. Even though this is an affordable tablet, this tablet also supports LTE so you don't have to rely on Wi-Fi. This device also gets an 8-inch display, a Snapdragon 429 processor with 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. It also gets a 5100mAh battery, an 8MP rear camera as well as a 2MP selfie camera. If you are a streaming user and have been looking for a solution to their lack of access to Unified Fiber Plan, I have some good news for you. It seems like Unify have a solution to this issue. A leaked slide from what looks like a pitch deck reveals something called Unify Air, a proposed plan to bring Unify and fiber-like internet connectivity to those who have no access to fiber ports. According to the slide, the Unify Air plan that was being proposed will be priced at 79 ringgit per month and it will come with unlimited quota on a 24-month contract. So will this be implemented in the future? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon so that we be informed whenever we post a new video. And remember to check out our latest video here and also last episode of Ichimi here. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye!